Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, your sales consultant here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind me, I have a 2024 Honda CRV LX. Let's get going. All right, so here we are. We got the window sticker out. Let's take a look. It's a 2024 Honda CRV. This one's an all wheel drive. It's also available in a two wheel drive option with a price adjustment from that point. Then it's an LX trim. So this is your entry level from here, okay? Now, as we come over here on the right hand side, you'll see that it talks about the fuel economy 27 for the city, 32 for the highway with a combined of 29 miles to a gallon for an all wheel drive. We'll come right down here. It says safety ratings to be rated. You find more of that stuff online. And then where the vehicle's made at. The price point for this particular trim and then all the standard features and functions which we're going to try to cover today just for you now we'll also put some additional color options up there so you guys be fully aware of those options up there then also there's gonna be a surplus charge for that particular color so you guys will be in the know okay now let's go back to the car and talk about the car now all right, so here we are right outside the Honda CRV here quick for you guys. This is that Cannon River blue color here, okay? So you guys can see what it looks like. So we talked about colors. It comes standard with two key fobs, all right? We're going to step here towards the front of the vehicle. Honda Sensing comes standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision and road departure, and traffic jam assist. So there you go. A lot of safety features here on the entry level, okay? Now you have a 1.5 turbo four-cylinder with a CVT. It's going to be in here. I'm going to throw horsepower and torque up there so you guys will be in the know. Now it comes in with your LED lights all the way around. That means your daytime running lights, your headlights, and then your taillights, all gonna be L E and D. All right, so there we go. Now, as you can see right here between those LED lights, you're gonna have the little chrome action here within the eyebrow that kind of wraps around and continues to wrap around from there. And then you got your wipers right underneath the hood line, okay? Ah, there we go. We get a little sunshine peeking through the clouds. You can see how that's kind of a little bedazzled with the metallic flakes on this particular color. We'll step here off to the side. You can see those 17-inch steel rims with caps. Then we're going to take a step back here quick. We're going to see a side profile of the vehicle. I'm going to throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys see how it compares to other vehicles out there in the market and also to you guys' this current one. Now you can see, as we're looking at side profile, we got body-colored handles. Body color side mirror with turning indicators and a little bit of chrome action around the windows. All right, now with these side mirrors here, I'm trying to get a shake here. I'm trying to use the selfie stick for once. Now, you can push these in if you need to fold these bad boys in. If you accidentally bump something, it bumps right out, and there we go. Okay, so you can simply put it right back, snaps right back in place. Now, your capless gas tank when the car is unlocked, you simply just push that door right in, it pops right open, and there we go. As life happens, gas and goes. Now to lock that right back up, you just hit the lock button, and there we are, okay? Now, as we step here off to the side, once again, you got those LED tail lights, just makes a bold statement as you apply into the brakes, of course. And then we got a badge of honor CRV. They kind of went back to retro old school ways for the all-wheel drive badging. Put it right up here on the back window, okay? A little novelty thing. Now, you're going to notice on your key fob, there's a hatch button here, right? So everything's locked right now. What this button's going to do is you tap this bad boy. It's going to unlock your hatch only while keeping these other doors locked. That's what it's for. So you have a hydraulic lift gate, okay? Now, before I dive right in there, I'm going to tell you guys the, uh, some cargo measurements so you know what you guys are playing around with. So life taps, you like challenge accepted. Now we're going to dive right in here quick. You guys can see we have a little hook carrier action there for garbage bags, stuff like that. You're going to have LED lights. We'll come right back here to the other side. Another hook, a 12 volt plug in, then an LED light. Carpet mats come standard. The new owner of this car is buying the all season mats here with it. And we're going to see what those look like here on the inside of the vehicle. Now we're also going to have some courtesy hooks right here. So if you got some cargo back here, you don't want to be jumping around damaging plastics or anything, you're set for success. Now, Right underneath here, you got your spare tire and those additional tools you may need for those unforeseen events. Then we have some insulation down here, just to make it a little quieter for the people in the back seat to reduce that road noise. Now I'm gonna fold these seats down here quick. So let me grab the key fob from my pocket. There we go. Unlock it. Now to fold these seats down is pretty nice and easy. You simply come right in here. You'll pull this, and it comes right down. Let's get over there to the other side here. I am not used to using this selfie stick, guys. So if it's shaking around a lot of bit, hey, I do apologize. Here soon, I think I'm going to take this away. So there it is. 
nice and down there for you guys. That's what it's gonna look like. All right, let's fold these seats right back up. And we're back. We got the seats up here, guys. We got rid of that selfie stick. I'm a little more in control here on my camera right now. I love it much more. So here's that cargo space once again, okay? Now I just gotta simply just put this down and then we're all done. We're gonna hit it here towards the back of the vehicle. We got the door open already. You got a nice little leather armrest going on. You got some power windows. There's some additional cubby space down below. We got a little badge of honor going on. CRV right down below here on the door. There's one of those cool little things to kind of point out. Now, before we dive in here, I'm going to throw some interior measurements up there so you guys know how much room is going to be in there for who's ever is brave enough to tag along with you guys. Friends, pet, cargo, pets, all that good jazz. Challenge accepted. Take everyone on the road, okay? You guys will see it will come with cloth interior. These seats do recline quite a far back, as you can see from that point. Here's the all season match that I was sharing with you guys earlier. The laser cut, nice tight fit on this. Armrest. So if we're done in nap mode, pull this bad boy up. You got some additional cup holders right there. What I like about this too as well is these are exposed for your car seats. So you don't have to dig down under and find them trying to buckle in the car seats and stuff like that. So that's kind of nice. Adjustable vents from over here. Third seat belt if you ever need that bad boy, it's right there. And then there's the back, okay? Now we're gonna step here towards the front, open up the driver's side door. Once again, you have a leather armrest, you got power windows, you got your power locks, your mirror selector left and right, the D-patch adjust accordingly, then you got your window lock button, just in case any young whippersnappers or a misbehaved husband like myself playing with the, around with the windows, you can lock them out, okay? Then right down here below, you got some additional cubby space, and then a little badge of honor CRV. The little details, just trying to share as much as I can. Now, it's gonna be a manual seat. This is your recline, this is your pump action to raise and lower the seat from there. Then you got a squeeze bar up front to slide it forward and back, okay? Now we have your pedals to get to A and B. As we wrap around here, you got your hood release. Let's pop that. Let's show you guys some of the common courtesy little things underneath the hood now. All right, so here we are, right underneath the hood. Let's show you guys some little stuff. We're going to talk about the engine, stuff like that, but basic maintenance you may do on your own. For example, the washer fluid's a nice blue cap, easy to find. What else is easy to find? It's the dipstick. It's a bright orange. You can find that between day or nighttime. You got the oil cap right up here, your coolant cap right there. As we step here off to the side a little more, you got your battery connection. It's easily exposed. If you ever need to jump or replace that or jump someone, you're set for there. And then your brake fluid from here, and then you got your fuse box there, okay? So we're going to do one more look over here for those that are capable of working on that car. If you guys have more advanced questions, contact your local Honda Service Center. These guys work on the cars every day. I don't. I just hit buttons, okay? So one look over here for you guys. And there it is. You know what? Let's get back in the driver's seat. Let's get going. All right, so we're in the CRV now. I got the key fob in my pocket. It can be in your purse, your jacket, or somewhere in the vehicle, okay? Simply put your foot down on the brake, hit the button, and watch everything light up from that point. I can't wait to get the air going or roll down the window. It's nice out today. So there we go. Now, over here, we got some buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. You got your vehicle stability assist. If you ever want to turn that off, it's not a tap. It's a click and hold, all right? Your steering wheel adjustment is a telescopic. There we go. Release that. It goes in, out down and up so just as you guys see fit and lock that bad boy right back in place and there we are now we're going to be focusing right over here on the steering wheel controls all of your honda sensing features are going to be over here on the right hand side so let's get going so this is going to be your button for your adaptive cruise and your cruise control as you select that button it allows you to use it it's available you can see that from right over here now that's going to be adaptive cruise i can see that because it has a speeder meter with a arrow and a car in front of it okay your standard cruise control is going to look like this speeder meter with an arrow over here with not a car in front of it okay so with your adaptive cruise control it keeps you out of sync with the car in front of you so for example let's say we're going 45 car in front of you is going 40 it finds a car in range it beeps at you you can turn that on or off i have a video to help you guys with that it slows you down to maintain that distance whatever you set it at okay so it's pretty nice now to switch between those two I'm just holding down this button right here. Click and hold, and there we go. 
ACCs, your adaptive cruise control, icon switch. There you go, now you're standard cruise. So you're literally just holding it down for one, two seconds, and then there we go, okay? Now to set the distance between you and the car in front of you, you just have to select this button right up there. You see right there on the driver's interface, those lines up there are changing. So less lines means closer, more lines means further away for the car in front of you, okay? Now we'll come right over here. You got your lane keep assist and traffic jam assist. Those are two separate programs that are doing the same thing at different speeds. So your lane keep assist is gonna be between 45 to 90 miles an hour while your traffic jam assist works between 25 to 40 miles an hour. So when this is on, as you select that, if you guess there's gonna be a matching icon, there it is, it's available, you can use it. As you're driving down the road, it'll give you green lines right up here to let you know it's visually working there for you. So if you go out your lane a little bit, it'll beep at you. You can turn that beep on or off, then it brings you back and centers you, okay? So that's pretty nice. So it makes those long journey drives a little more comfortable, a little more easier for you guys as you're out there on the road. Now, it will, it will not be doing it, it would not be playing ping pong. Like some other cars that drove, you go back and forth, it literally gently brings you and keeps you in the center of your lane. So if I gotta sneeze in, uh, as I'm on the highway or anything like that, I can do that with confidence. Usually when you get sneeze on the road, it's at the most inconvenient time, you know? So anyways, let's talk more about your car. You got your switch right here, toggle switch. Now, the most important, you need to know how to set your cruise or your adaptive cruise. It's gonna be this toggle, you toggle it down, you can toggle up and down to adjust your speeds from there. So that's all your high sensing features from that point. Now we got your wipers right over here. You got your rear wipers, there's a little twist from that point. These you gotta pull down. You got your headlights on auto from there. Turn the indicators and all that. Then you get more of your media controls from here, okay? So you got your volume for your music. Switch your different sources. You can skip your stations. You got voice commands if your phone's paired. You'd be like, hey, call Crazy Honda Chris. A mobile phone gives me a call, too. Now, we got a little wheel action right here, okay? I'm going to get to that here in a second because it's going to be changing some stuff here on the driver's interface. So I'm scrolling up, scrolling down, then pushing in to select, and then backing out. It's the home menu, okay? So we're gonna be focused over here on the left-hand side. We're gonna start right there in all-wheel drive torque as you push in the wheel action. This is gonna show you where your all-wheel drive's coming in, when's it kicking on, stuff like that. It's all automatic, okay? So if you need the power, it comes right up for you. Seat belts, you can see who's sitting where and not wearing a seat belt. Guilty if I grab the front passenger seat and I buckle it in three, two, one. It's pretty quick and responsive. I unbuckle it and there we go, okay? Maintenance, anything regarding for maintenance is gonna be underneath maintenance, safety, support. This will be a nice little quick point of reference if I wanna turn on and off things. So right now you can see this little icon down there with a the picture of the car that's green and a gray circle. I select that and there we go. So it changes if you modify anything, you know? So if you turn everything off, it'll be all grayed out. If you have partial stuff off, you know, one of the items off, it'll be, you know, gray. Then if everything's on, it's green, okay? Just a quick visual reference. But now let's talk about what this stuff is. You got your road departure. We'll keep that on. You got your forward collision, and we'll keep that on. There we go. Now, if you want to switch your speed distance from miles per hour to kilometers, you can. It's simply right here. You click and hold in that wheel action, but we're going to keep it on miles per hour. You got your brightness, so you can adjust the brightness of the driver's interface screen. We'll keep it full blast. You got your vehicle settings right here. This is where you guys can customize all of your Honda sensing features. We set your tire pressure monitoring system when the door is unlocked, stuff like that uh, from there. I have a video down below in the description. Check it out. Personalized vehicle settings videos. So when you guys drive off the lot, you're set for success. All right, so this could be your display gauge right here. So you can choose with some items that you don't want to be up there. If you want to clean up the clutter, you can. Uh, but we're going to keep everything on and let the next person decide what they want to do. Warnings, if you have the like, door open, other, other warnings, it's going to be right here. There's none right now. We got fuel and range. So right now on a full tank of gas, we can go 410 miles. Common questions, Chris, why is yours different than mine? All right, to share this with you guys, um, this thing is all computer generated. It learns from your guys' driving habits and terrain and stuff like that, okay? So if I'm here driving downhill all the time versus someone driving up in the mountains, it's gonna be different, okay? Plus hot and cold environments play an effect. So this will fine tune as you guys are out there on the road. So this is based on 198 miles or 410 miles for a gallon. Uh, it's not a gallon, but per tank, excuse me, for a tank. All right, so there we go. Now, 
as we scroll up and down on the same wheel action right here, it goes from trip A to trip B. Now to reset these bad boys, you simply push in the wheel and then hit reset if you guys want to. That's how you reset your trip A's and trip B's. You'll see down below, you have a graph action going on from zero to 90. That's gonna show your lifetime fuel economy and getting out of that time, so it's gonna fluctuate. Now as we're talking about leveling up your fuel efficiency game, you're also gonna have a fuel efficiency backlight. So that's gonna be a green bar that's gonna come right up here above your digital speeder meter when you're being fuel efficient and when you're not, it's just gone. Speed and time. You guys get out there and do a little track action. There we go. Driver's attention monitoring system is going to grade you guys on how well you are paying attention out there on the road. Are you just going crazy driving around, you know, going back and forth, and you need to pull them and take a break? The car is going to warn you. And then we're back from right here. Now we're going to talk about the layout of the driver's interface screen here quick, okay? So we have you a speeder meter, then you have a digital speeder meter right up there for you guys. We're going to talk about the safety features when they're on and available, we're in normal drive. We're going to talk about that later on here. Miles, we're in park, and then it's 76 degrees outside. I love it. It's no longer 90 degrees out here. I melt when out here I'm doing the car reviews. But anyways, this is going to be your gas tank right here, okay? So we're talking about is a full tank because I can see that it's because of the little bars is what you're talking about so if it's half tank you guys guessed it half of those bars are going to be gone it's not this little red light or little red dot line okay now you can see right now it's going to be 1232 that's the time there and then you got your tech automer wraps around right up there you can turn that on or off i have a video i'll show you guys that in action okay now temperature for your engine bay stuff like that it's all the light that comes on there's no gauge they're trying to clean up all that you know clutter that's up here to simplify things for for you guys okay so that's the uh, layout there for the driver's interface. We'll come right over here to the seven inch touch screen. You got your radio action, so simply push that in to turn it on. And then you got your volume, turn it off from that point. We'll turn it down. So as you hit the radio button, it's gonna switch between AM radio and FM radio. Let's get this to focus. There we go. Let's see you guys find a radio station you like to save it. You just click and hold it. And it beeps and then go it saves it so same thing there for fm radio now as you select the media control right here it's going to switch to your usb you don't have a cd player but if you got anything you want to download onto a flash drive or maybe a usb cd player they sell those online you plug it in you hit this you put your cd in and boom you're jamming out before you even know it and then you're also going to have oops sorry hit media again you're going to have your bluetooth capabilities so if you have a device like my phone or something else you can connect it via bluetooth and play your music and other stuff off of that uh, from there now we have your smartphone connection it's going to be apple carplay and android auto you just if you have an android phone like myself you download android auto allow their permissions then it's a plug and play plug it in your phone plug it in down here and then it takes like your maps and the other compatible apps so it displays it on your touch screen right up here for you guys while charging your device uh, from there so that's pretty snazzy now we got this here for your phone of course if your phone was paired you can get in here and access your phone i don't have a phone paired right now uh, from there then you can switch between your radio stations you got a little back uh, button here for the menu so as i select this you can use the little wheel action here or you can scroll this way okay so let's slowly go through some of this stuff and give you guys a quick little visual I'll let you guys get in here and play around with that. Now you got your time right up there. It's 1235 already. You can hit the back button. It takes you right back to your screen, okay? We're gonna step back here quick and look at the, at the uh, dashboard. You got a nice little pattern here within the vent. Adjustable vents here. That one is yours. It's open. Now it's closed. Now it's back open. You can adjust that from there. These ones, we're gonna argue about who's, who's gonna get these, okay? So maybe that's yours, maybe that's mine. This one's for sure is mine. And then I have mine way over here too as well. And then you can adjust from there. It's open, close, back to open. Climate control, you got your temperature right here. As you turn that, it's right there. It then also displays right up here for you, okay? Fan speed, it displays right here on the button for on and off for your climate. Then your fan speed there and right up there. Your different modes displays it right there and then also right up there okay so that's gonna be nice so as you're driving down the road i don't have to bring my eyes all the way down here i can put it right up here as a quick glance as i'm going 
Now you got auto button. The car is going to do everything that's powered to maintain at 64 degrees or wherever you have it set up for it. For auto to turn that off, you just turn on and off the climate, then adjust it from there. There we go. Now we got your air circulation, front defroster, rear defroster, AC will come right down here to USB plug-in, then a 12 volt plug-in, and then we got a little tree action here to throw whatever you guys want up there. <clears throat> now we have a couple different drive modes, okay? Let's talk about these. It's the toggle switch, toggle up and down. We'll come right up here on the driver's interface screen. First thing's gonna pop up is normal. So this is your everyday driving. From here, as we tap it down one more, you have an econ mode. I encourage you guys to use this for your highway driving where it's most effective, okay? Now what's gonna be doing, it's gonna be sacrificing AC power and acceleration power to give you better highway fuel economy, okay? I stress on the highway because if you do it for the city, it's just you're stopping going. It's not as effective. You can keep it on all the time, it's just not as effective. Now those hot summer days, you have to choose. Do you wanna be fuel efficient or do you wanna be comfortable? That's up to you guys. Me, I'm gonna to choose to be comfortable. Now let's scroll down here. The next one is a snow mode. It's gonna change your, how your car is gonna to perform to optimize your handling in the snow environment. So if you guys have an inch of snow out there for your city driving, I encourage you to put this bad boy in snow mode. You're gonna thank me later for that. Now you're always gonna have a reminder right up there. So if I shut off the car and turn it back on, it's gonna be in snow mode, okay? Or econ of wherever you guys left it at. Hill descent control right here. As you tap that bad boy, you got it on right there. You got an icon, so it's gonna lock you in when you're going down here, hill between two and 12 miles an hour. At least it's gonna help you with that, maintain that. Tap it again, it goes away from there. Now you are gonna have idle stop equipped with this vehicle. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings out there, but if you guys don't like it, like my wife, she hates it, she hits this button to turn it off, okay? As I hit that button, you'll see it right down here. It's off. So what idle stop is, when you get to a complete stop, I press down on the brakes, I'm to a stop, it shuts off the engine. If the cabin's to temp, the engine's to temp and other programs, it helps protect itself from natural wear and tear. So anyways, as soon as you let go off the brake, boom, the car starts up before you apply onto the gas from there. But some people don't like it and that's fine. Just hit that button and deactivates it. But I've also noticed with my wife's CRV, if we put it from drive to S mode, it's going to automatically disable that feature, okay? Now, that's going to be idle stop. This is your electrical parking brake. It's on. It's on. You can see the brake down there. You can't just push that button to turn it off. You can simply put your foot on the brake and then push that in. I have a video that talks about the whole brake, how it holds the brake for you for the stop and go traffic when you get to a complete stop. And then we're down over here down to the gear. So we got a park, reverse, neutral, drive, S mode, then a low gear drive too as well. When you put the vehicle into reverse, your multi-angle camera automatically displays. You got your little photos down here. It's gonna show you how the camera's gonna act. You have a nice 180 view, more of a right behind you view, then a straight down shot from your rear bumper view. Then as you turn the wheel, guess what? That changes colors, and then also turns with you, so it helps guide you where you're going, okay? Put it back in there. So your S mode's gonna change up your gear ratio, a little more fun throttle response. Then you have your low gear for those steep hills and mountains, okay? Cup holders right here. <clears throat> From here, we got a little tray action. Then we have a leather armrest. Pop this bad boy open, and then here we are. I got deep space here so I can hide all my snacks from the kids, the quarters, stuff like that. I'm set for success. Cameron is not gonna get in there. Now, we'll come right over here. It's a lockable glove box. A deep glow box challenge accepted throw what you guys want in there you guys will forget about it i'll throw that back in there for the new owner got led lights this is going to be on or off right here put it in the center so if i open up a door the lights will come right on place for the uh sunglasses also comes out boom boom and then there we are all right so there it is folks that's going to be the 2024 honda crv this is the lx i do have videos out there for the higher trim levels if you're looking for the conventional gas you'll be looking at the lx as your entry level then the ex then the exl okay if you guys want a hybrid version of these your entry level for a hybrid is the sport then you go to the sport l 
than the sport touring i officially now have all the videos out there so you guys can be fully well informed okay well thank you again i'll see you guys at the next video bye bye